court will call the matter of the state of Michigan versus a fellow ward. Case number 22 FB 1294. Thank you, Mr. This is a PD case. I'm not, uh, this would be Mr. Lebo's. No problem, Your Honor. I'm so sorry. Assistant Public Defender Jay Bellinger on behalf of Ms. Ward, who appears via Zoom. Ms. Ward, can you please state your name for the record? Urquilla Ward. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. Ward. Good morning. Ms. Ward is here for a review today, and it is uh, my understanding that she has not provided proof of her community service hours and is upset that the court is requiring that she do the community service in light of her having to take care of her mother. Certainly, um, Your Honor. I, the notes that I have here um, are that she has not been able to do that due to her mother needing the 24-hour care. Um, she's not been able to find any online options. Um, she will um, obtain a doctor and submit to the court as soon as possible, is my understanding. Um, I don't know if Ms. Ward has anything to add to that. Anything from you, Ms. Ward? Uh, I wasn't give. I didn't. Um, they didn't tell me that I had to. Um, that I had an option for online. They stated that they were going to find me um, online. Uh, something online for volunteer work. I wasn't supposed to find it, and I'm not upset, Your Honor. It's just that I can't do it. I'm not upset at all. Miss Ward. You were um, convicted of a weapons offense in this particular case. Correct. And there are responsibilities that you have that you need to complete. If you don't complete them, then the option is to put you in custody. Okay. Well, if I can't, I mean, Your Honor, what do you want me to do? I can't Ms. do it. On, if, I, if they give me option, I mean, if they can find something for me online, then I'll do Who it. No is finding anything for you, Ms. Ward. You're confused about how this works. This is an they order. They stated to me Ms. Ward, that they were going to find it. I'd recommend not talking back to the court. <sighs> hmm. Your Honor, I can't, if I could, I would. I would do the time. I mean, the um, volunteer work or what? Uh, what is it? Cause I don't know. Um, community service, and Your Honor. Um, community service. I would do it, but I'm not able to do it right now. I'm not. Your Honor, I just can't. Um, Your Honor, I'm talking over Miss Ward to encourage her to stop talking for her own sake, um, but I'll also refer to my notes um, from our last hearing because I had brought up, the, I have, I was actually the one that brought up possi the possibility of perhaps something existing online that she could do. My notes state that Your Honor told her she needs to talk to her attorney about those options. Mr. Lebo did say that he was going to uh, reach out to her with um, to discuss that possibility. So I, if there has been a misunderstanding about what that private communication was supposed to be, um, to some extent, my notes are actually somewhat consistent with that. But I think it's also clear at this point that there needs to be some sort of initiative taken to at the least reach out to counsel. So I'm just, um, that's all for me. Your Honor, I would be asking for um a little more a little more time on this that we reset this review hearing to, to such time as um we can speak with um, Ms. Ward about her options, be it online, in person, whatever she needs to do to um come back into compliance um so that she can be successful with this. I understand that she has hardships, um, but th the court needs to take priority and and we need to just, just have a conversation about that. Mm -mm -mm. That's Ms. Ward will be here on November 9th in person, 2023, at 10 o'clock a.m. Ma'am, you need to work on that community service as you were ordered to do. And if you don't, then at that time, you'll be taken into custody. And if you don't show, I'm going to issue a bench warrant for your arrest. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Your Honor. So on September 7th, um, Mr. Palmer pled guilty to the violation of the sober link violation and non-reporting. Have you had an opportunity to review the recommendation for today? 
I have your honor, and I note that the recommendation from Ms. Roth indicated that she recommended adjourning this matter uh, for one more uh, date in order to show that he was in compliance with Don Farms. Because according to my client, he was only supposed to do 12 uh, meetings, group meetings. Uh, he had performed nine of the 12, but the document that I received from Ms. Rob indicated that he was supposed to do 36. So she had uh, recommended adjourning this and that if he was in compliance, um, well, I'll strike that. If he wasn't in compliance, they were recommending jail time. Now, I don't know what the recommendation would be if he, if he is in fact in compliance. I think she's going to allow him to continue on his probation if he is in compliance. If he's not in compliance, then... I think you know this is our third violation. That's right, Your Honor. We're kind of done, and so we're just going to do the jail time. So um, I don't know what the court wants to do. I don't know what the court's preference is now, but I would respectfully ask the court to adopt the recommendation and allow my client the opportunity to come in compliance with Don Farm. Thank you, um, Ms. McDuffie. Your Honor, I don't have any objection to the uh, recommendation being adopted, um, but I guess I would just ask why um, we don't seem to have any progress, I guess, since the last time we were here um, in September, because it sounded like he needed to reach out to probation and possibly sign the ROI from Down Farm. So I guess I'm, well, Your Honor, it's okay. Whether there's confusion about 12 versus 36, we're still at nine. So it's 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 short regardless, but I guess I'm a little I'm wondering why there would be confusion about about that after all this time. I think we are I'm I'm wondering about that too. What Ms. Straub, are you are you present? Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning again, Ms. Straub. Um, on the Palma matter, I guess the question we're having is he says he's only supposed to do 12 group. Don Farm saying he's supposed to do 36. Do they give them paperwork? Why are we, where's the discrepancy? Yeah, so I haven't spoken to Mr. Palmer since the last court hearing. I believe we adjourned it so he and I could discuss that a little bit and see if I could solve any confusion that way. Um, this was one of the cases that I believe he started his Don Farm before Mr. Heaton left. I don't see any paperwork in his file, physical or in GIS, um, or any kind of email that states what he was ordered to do. So in talking with Don Farm, she told me that they had recommended he do 36. And that he had not appeared for his last group uh, or for his continuance of his group since March. That was the last time he appeared. All right. And so one of the violations last time was non-reporting. And so he, he's reporting monthly, but he hasn't made contact with the probation agent regarding this discrepancy. Not he filled out a report form for October, but I have not spoken with him. Mr. Palmer, do you understand that I'm at my wit's end with you, sir? Yes. Do you understand that this is it? I'm done. Like if you don't get it together at this time, there are no excuses. I don't want to hear not a one. I'm just going to give you the jail time and be done with this. Am I clear? So why didn't you reach out to Ms. Straub? I don't know. I really, I tried to get a hold of a... You haven't had time since September 7th? Work like 67 hours a week. You're going to be in custody, sir. You understand that? And then you won't be working. You'll be in custody. So you need to figure out how to make that phone call and reach out to her. Am I clear? Yes. Why do you think it's only 12 hours and they say it's 30, 12 group sessions well, and they think it's 36? When Deanne was the one who initiated my assessment, she told me 12 weeks. All right, this is your last time to figure that out, okay? Whatever they say you're supposed to be doing is what you're supposed to be doing and what you need to do. Well, I tried to reach out to them, but- Yes, Your Honor. I've got no Thank you to try to figure things out. Mr. Palmer. Yes, Your Honor. My client understands that. Okay. Are you available on November 9th, counselor, for a return? For a return date? Yes. You can do 10 a.m. I have a case of L at 11, but the case of L can be through Zoom. 
I can't guarantee you that I will have gotten to you by that time, unfortunately. <laughs> In case of that was real short anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm available. Okay. So, why don't I just do it at 1130 if your case eval is going to be short and it will be after your case eval. That works. Okay. Thank you. Robert. November 9th, 2023 at 1130 a.m.